All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Sunday afternoon, and I wanted to show you a new product that's out there on the watch market and stuff like that. Very different. I actually, I think I picked up on these on Instagram. <clears throat> I'm kind of off Facebook right now. If you guys look for me on Facebook, I'm not out there right now, but found these on Instagram, and I really thought it was a cool idea. One of the biggest reasons is because uh, as a kid, I wore my Seiko 7548 <clears throat> a lot of the time as a kid growing up on a Velcro uh, watch band. And the thing stunk to high heaven a lot of the time as a kid, just because I was a kid. I sweat, stuff like that. I wore my watch constantly. I really never took it off for anything, no matter what I was doing. So the watch always had that. And back then, microfiber and all that stuff wasn't a material that they had. So when I, when I read <clears throat> Ryan's uh, idea on these was to keep your leather bands, you know, nice and stuff like that and to keep the stink out of stuff like that. Now, I don't wear my leather bands a lot in the summer and sweat on them a lot, but a lot of people do. And I mean, you can really, <clears throat> on a leather band like this, you can really uh, get a lot of sweat and stuff, especially in the stitching and in the band to where it gets pretty nasty. I mean, it, it can really get nasty. And therefore, I don't wear... Uh, you know, my leather straps as much because I just don't want to get so much sweat and nastiness, you know, soaked into the leather. So when I saw these and I saw the idea behind what he was doing here, I thought it was a great idea. And I just kind of communicated with him and Ryan did offer to send these out. I didn't buy these. So these are uh, sent to the channel for review. And I thought it was a great idea. So I said, yeah, I'll definitely take a look at them on the channel. Now, these are made for different size straps. I think these ones here, if you read at the top, are for 18 to 20 millimeter straps and also 38 millimeter Apple Watch. So, you know, nowadays, to be honest with you guys, most people wearing a watch are wearing a smart watch. So very wise for him to market to that. These ones over here, I think are the next size up, the 20 to 22, or they'll fit the uh, 42 millimeter Apple Watch and the Fitbit Charge. So very cool thing. The whole idea is to enhance and protect your watch bands from who? from you, from your own sweat, because all the sweat and stuff like that, uh, you know, can really, it can really stink up your band. The other thing is these are hypoallergenic. So a lot of people that maybe have a allergy to leathers or something like that can maybe use these to get the watch on your wrist and, um, you know, be able to wear the watch comfortably and stuff like that. So this, they're in here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is open one of these and probably try to get it on the watch here. I wanted to let you guys know these are a designed and produced in the United States product. So if you guys are interested in that, there is the website down there below at www.bandliners.com. So you guys can get the instructions and a little bit more on how to do these and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and open one of the packages here. Let's just go ahead and open this one here and see what is inside of here. Now, it says that they are um, an adhesive that should be able to, uh, you should be able to put it on. It should come off most straps and stuff like that. So, and inside of each package, you have, it said three sets of band liners. So, okay, so you get three different um, of the main, you know, this is the main part that's going to be on your wrist and you get one of the top portions. It's going to be on the top section of the strap, you know, up here on the shorter one. So let me go ahead and peel one of these off and I'm going to pause it for a second so I can do this without making a complete uh, ASS of myself on camera. But uh, I don't get them on the watch here so we can check those out. Just a second. Hey, before I put them on, I just want to show you, I didn't unfold it. There's three of each. It's not, it's not just three of the bottom. It's three of each, three of the top, three of the bottom. So, okay, let me pause it here and get this on the watch. Okay, so it just took me a second to put these on. It was very simple. And I'll tell you what, just the way it left the uh, the feeling on the band is kind of cool. I know the first thing people are going to ask is what about the holes? And I noticed right away when I was putting it on, there is a slice uh, right up the middle. So as you start putting your, you know, the tab of your band uh, through there, it's going to pierce right on through the, the strap cover. It's a very smooth, almost has like a velvet um, feel to it. As a matter of fact, I want to put it on because... It does feel a lot nicer and more supple than what was on there before. So let me go ahead and put, this is my uh, old version one of my Orient Bambino. And yeah, like it was nothing to uh, go ahead and slide that through there. And um, it definitely adds comfort to the strap. It, it, it adds a lot of comfort. And it's nice knowing that there is that layer now between the leather and the strap, It you know, that so you're not going to get that stinky, funky leather band. So definitely feels good, feels comfortable. I think it's a neat, fresh idea. I love seeing, you know, new ideas uh, for an old industry out there as far as watches and straps like that go. So 
Nice idea, Ryan. I like the way these feel. Um, very nicely done. These were simple. This one went on really easily and I did have it hang over a little bit here at the end and it took me like two seconds with a pair of scissors to trim off the fat that was hanging over the end there. But that looks really nice. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pause it again. I wanna get it on this one on my Tissot here real quick. Okay, so same thing guys here. It took me just a little bit. Now this one doesn't have hardly any taper and it's longer so I didn't even need to trim anything. And what's nice is I, I got it a couple of times. This is why I wanted to do off off camera. A couple of times I had it off center uh, up here at the top and stuff, but I was able to peel it off and recenter it and stuff. And it sticks, you know, it sticks back down really nicely. I think it's neat having this little extra layer on there, especially that you can clean it. It's antimicrobial, so you're not going to sweat through your nice leather strap. So neat concept, neat idea, Ryan over at Bandliners. Now these are running you $17.99 for a three pack. And you know, if, you, if you're able to put these on three of your watches and save some straps, save some nice expensive leather straps, I think that's well worth it. Ryan mentioned that he's been wearing uh, one for two years or he's been using them, um, uh, uh, excuse me, he's been using a Hodinkee alligator leather strap and using his band liners on it for two years, just really beating the heck out of it. And I mean, I think he thinks basically he said before the leather wears out uh, because of protection of these he's going to wear the holes out in the strap but very cool idea i like what they're doing here ryan these band liners are nice uh, definitely go check them out down there guys uh, at the website i think it's right there on the back yeah there you go bandliners.com so all right good stuff guys and uh if you like the video give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom have a great sunday guys the dodgers are going to the world series that's always exciting so all right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.